Hello, welcome back to the next update on this build. Alright, as you see here, I've uh, did the back door here. It's still to do the inner doors here. And I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what I did so far. Alright, so this is the old door. It's not glued on yet. So here's my back outside door. Uh, just a real simple design. This is just two pieces of balsa wood glued together with these little squares, uh, rectangles, glued into a little bit of extra details. I have not done the hardware yet. That I'll do that uh, later on once I have all the doors completed. And then here we have the door frame, door post, uh, jam uh, for that entryway. Now I'm just going to show you how I constructed these. First, the uh, door jam, door frame there uh, that is made out of. And let me find a piece of wood. <coughs> here it is. It is uh, just this is uh, one sixteenth inch by 3 16 inch uh, bass wood nice good sturdy wood cut to size um, one I did the well first of all using my calipers same technique as I use for the cabinets I measure the width for these openings so yeah it gives me the width of the header here and then using that I did the height and the height being the height of the wall here minus the thickness of the uh, of the header so minus 1 60th inch give or take and that gives me the dimension of the four three pieces that I have and then I glued it together and just pinned it here on one of this little foam core here and glued it together let it dry and then I built the door so let me show you uh, gluing together the the door frame All right so first I'm going to measure and cut and show you how I'm glued together. Okay, so after I take the measurement, the way I transfer over the measurement, and that, excuse me, I have the camera here in front of me, I just take my calibers, hook it up here to one edge, and take the other edge and just score the wood lightly. So that gives me the cut point. And I will put this, excuse the traffic in the back. Uh, put me in camera. Alright, then I'll put it in my miter box and I cut it down to size. So I'm going to do that twice because I need one for this header and one for that section. And then I'm going to do the same thing for once for the height. I'm just going to measure it, take a measurement, mark it, subtract the six and an inch, and cut it off. Now, before I get to gluing these, um, after I cut off the pieces, and these are the uh, the uppers, um, I lined them up. Take them up, make sure they're flush on at least one end, and then uh, make sure I take a sanding stick and just sand off the edges. I just want to make sure that they are all uh, exactly the same with, uh, length as well. So just a little bit of prep work there. All right, so let's get to gluing these together. Okay, so this is how I'm doing those door jams posts. Uh, so I take the long piece. I have it uh, pinned here. I have a right angle line here as a reference. Uh, using the pins, I'm keeping it, let's see if you can get this in focus, I'm keeping it upright, I'm keeping it, there's a pin back here, so it gives me something to stop against, uh, and then I'm going to take the top part, I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue to the very end, literally just a little dab, and then I'm going to line it up here to the top of the post, and in this case, the little glue stick that comes out it's fine we can easily sand it off then I make sure this is completely flush to that and then what I'll do I'll just wait a few minutes let that set enough and once that's set I'm going to flip it over and attach the other piece okay so it's been uh, about 15-20 minutes or so let the glue set um, I'm just going to carefully take this out of here Try not to break the glue. So I'm going to turn this around as such. I'm going to take the other leg, place it here, like I did with the other one, like so. And I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to the end. Just a tiny amount, and same thing. Place it, uh, align it, 
Make sure it's flush and straight. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this at an angle because of the camera. All right. Nice and tight. Make sure it's all aligned properly. Right. And once it's set to the right angle and position, just leave it alone and let this dry for a few minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so here we're about another 15-20 uh, minutes later. Let the glue set. Took off some of the pins and now I'm just going to very easily, uh, easy slide this out of here. And there's my uh, door jam, door frame. So I'm just going to set this aside to fully cure. And we'll do the same thing and construct the uh, other door jam. And then I'll be back with the, uh, the doors themselves. All right, so it's been another 20, 30 minutes. Uh, let everything set. And here are the two door jams for the two doors for the uh, storage and the kitchen. Uh, so now we're going to work on the doors. So I'm just going to take these, put one carefully over. And just taking one of these, what I'm going to do is now measure the inside diameter, inside size here, uh, for the door. And again, I'm going to use my calipers. And I already did the measurement, so this measures 56, and this measures about 26 across. So I wrote those measurements down so that I wouldn't forget. And using that, and using the calipers themselves, just transfer over the uh, the measurements over to a piece of uh, uh, balsa wood and this is one millimeter thick and what I did here already I just took for the height I just lightly scored across here so you can see there in the light I got my height for the two doors and then I'm going to reset this to 26 you can see that there it's easy to about 26 close enough and then uh, we'll do the same thing for the width we'll just go ahead and score accordingly and then cut along those lines it's pretty simple all right so let me go ahead and do that now all righty so here we are the two doors uh, I'll cut out the blanks of the doors in the door frame so everything fits nicely and you see here on the right hand side door um, I cut up and start placing, this is not glued on yet, this is just temporarily here, excuse me, you can see, uh, the uh, little panels there, just add a little bit more details, all that is, I'm just taking another strip of the same one millimeter board, uh, it's approximately 20 millimeters wide, and approximately 10 millimeters high, so about one to two ratio, and I'm going to be putting four on each side of the door, of each one door. Uh, as far as why this measurement, just totally arbitrary, just eyeballing it. Uh, I'm going to try and get them both to be the same. So that will be the first detail that I'll put on the door. So I will glue this on, on uh, both doors and both sides, and I'll be back to show you that. Hello. Just want to quickly just show you how I was doing these doors. All right, so I have my blank. I have my small pieces I'm going to glue onto here. I'm using one of the uh, door jam pieces, the uh, 3 16 inch piece, as a uh, size guide. So basically I am using this here on the top edge. I'm taking one of the pieces, put a little bit of glue on the back, very light glue, uh, and use that as a guide to center it, well, visually center it left to right, but just to make sure that I have a consistent height uh, from the top here, which is just equal to one, the width of this. And I do that top and bottom, I'll let that sit for a little bit, a few minutes, let that sit so it doesn't move around, and then I go back and put the other two pieces in the middle. And again, I just eyeball it as far as being centered. So after that, uh, what I get is uh, this uh, with the four pieces uh, glued in like that. Now one thing I should have done beforehand uh, was to sand down, uh, chisel the uh, bevel the edges here of the four panels. I have to do that separately. So what I do is I grab my sanding stick as such and just give it a light pass on the edges here. I mean, you can see that on camera. To give it, to just to knock down that sharp edge so you have a little bit of a bevel edge like that. And I'll do that around all the corners. And after that, uh, you'll have a chamfer edge. And then I added the, uh, this um, 
of the piece here on the sides. And right, what that is, is just the one millimeter spare uh, sheets that I had to just cut down a sliver of it and then just position it on all four sides flush with the edge glue, glue it, I'm sorry, glue it down top, bottom, left, right and, uh, and then trim out the edges and, and get that effect so there's my little door alright so let me go ahead and finish up the uh, rest of these doors hello and welcome back and here I am with the two doors all completed I also gave them a little coat of uh, primer, specifically a uh, white primer from Vallejo that I had laying around. Uh, now before I do any other work, I'm going to just let them sit there. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do about the hardware, the hinges and the doorknobs and so forth um, along the back door. So right now these are just in place there temporarily. So next up is uh, moving on to the windows for the cellar.